Hello and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning viewer, welcome back and thank you for joining me today. So here today I'm going to talk about Jupiter in Gemini transit. Yes, the great benefic will enter the sign of Gemini, the sign of duality on May the 25th, 2024, and will stay there until June the 9th, 2025, bringing about a period of intellectual exploration and a massive expansion as well. Now, the last time Jupiter was uh, in Gemini, that was um, between 20, June 2012 and June 12, uh, 2013. So think about what happened in your life during that time in the area of life ruled by Gemini. Now, on a mundane level, some of the events from that period um, in time connected to Jupiter in Gemini energies um, include um, the rise in uh, university tuition fees in England to £9,000 a year, and that was in 2012. Then uh, we also had um, the American Airlines and the U.S. Airways uh, merged, uh, creating the world's largest airline. And um, we also saw a massive rise in bicycle activities across Europe, along with a creation of a city bike bike share program being established um, in the U.S. And that was um one of the largest bike share programs in the US launched in 2013, and it has become a really essential part of the transportation network. All right, so here Jupiter in Gemini. Jupiter in Gemini will bring a time of increased communication, exchange of ideas and, and learning. And overall during this um periods, people will be more open-minded, more curious, more eager to learn, to share knowledge. It's overall an amazing time for writers, for educators, for researchers, as Jupiter in Gemini will generally bring a lot of supportive energy. Now, there may be an increase uh, in international travel, cross-culture um, exchange, uh, and generally a greater openness to learning from different perspectives. There might be also uh, advances in education, communication, and uh, technology that overall facilitate easier and um, more widespread um, access to knowledge, to, um, to information. Now, travel, exploration might be also um, favored during this time, as uh, generally people might be seeking to broaden their horizons, to broaden their experiences, to, to learn about new cultures, for example. However, there, there might be also um, a tendency during this time towards uh, restlessness or perhaps some scattered energy. So it's really essential during this time to stay focused on specific goals and generally to avoid um, getting distracted because overall Jupiter in Gemini will encourage us to, to expand our minds, to embrace new ideas. And this can lead to a massive uh, personal growth and, and generally intellectual development as well. All right, so let's see what this transit will mean for you on a deeper level. And let's start from the first sign, and this is Aries. So here for Aries, when uh, Jupiter will be transiting your third house uh, during this time, the house of communication, networking, siblings, short distance travel. And with um, that third house energy being um, influenced, this has a massive impact upon your self-expression, interaction with others. And this transit can bring a massive boost to your communication skills, um, making you more articulate, making you more persuasive, especially when it comes to expressing your thoughts and ideas. And you might find it easier overall to, to share your, um, or to get your message across and to, to get people's attention, to win people's charm. And here with Jupiter um, in Gemini, Gemini being the sign of communication and, and learning, you might feel more inclined during this time to um, to pursue new knowledge, to learn new skills, to learn something new and fresh. And this transit can be a really amazing time to, to enroll in a course or perhaps attend uh, workshops, read books, to expand your knowledge and broaden your um, horizons overall. You might also find yourself um, 
very interested in a variety of topics and subjects and generally your curiosity can lead to, um, you to explore new avenues of learning. Now the third house also represents short distance travel and networking and also building um, connections with, um, with people in your immediate um, environment. And here with um, Jupiter, um, with Jupiter's expansive energy, you may find yourself traveling more frequently during this time, meeting uh, new people, expanding your network. Perhaps um, form you might be forming new connections that could help you achieve your goals. And here, Jupiter in Gemini transit can be a really great time to, to reach out to people in your industry or perhaps in your profession or perhaps um, attend networking um, events and, and generally this is a great time for establishing new collaborations uh, with others. Now this transit can also improve your relationship with your siblings and, and with, uh, with um, your family members and financially Jupiter in the third house can bring gains through your communication related uh, work like um, your projects for example and you, perhaps you you might receive recognition for your work during this time get a promotion or perhaps receive uh, a new job offer um, that could generally increase your income so here with Jupiter is um, generous and abundant energy you may also receive um unexpected uh, financial rewards uh, or some uh, opportunities that could generally boost your um, savings. So here with Jupiter in your third house, this can be a time of uh, new opportunities, a time when you can expand your horizons, improve your communication skills, and generally this can lead to success and prosperity. So definitely take advantage of these energies, Be remain uh, grounded and realistic and uh, Take advantage of the energies that um, come up during this time, or opportunities more specifically. Now for Taurus, Taurus, this is happening in your second house, so second house transit. And here during this time, you may experience um, various positive changes, uh, both financially and also personally. Now, financially, this uh, transit can bring um, opportunities for growth, for expansion, and you may also experience um, experience an increase in your income. Perhaps you might receive unexpected financial opportunities or gains um, during this time. And here, Jupiter in um, Gemini can um, also be a time to concentrate on your financial goals and perhaps make positive changes to your approach to money management. Now here, when it comes to your financial growth, this transit can also bring uh, heightened uh, appreciation for communication and learning during this time as well. And perhaps you might be drawn towards exploring uh, new topics, new subjects, uh, developing new skills, uh, um, anything to do with higher education as well. Perhaps you might find yourself seeking out new experiences and opportunities for personal growth. Anything that could help you also to improve your financial situation or improve your self-esteem. So there is this great focus also on personal values, self-worth, and you may find yourself um, re-evaluating your priorities, perhaps making changes that uh, align with your personal values during this time. So here overall with uh, Jupiter in Gemini, uh, transiting your second house uh, for pretty much 12 months, this, this can be a really time of a lot of positive changes and growth. So it's really important here with this transit to stay focused on your goals and to remain open for opportunities that present themselves during this time. And overall, with the right mindset, with the right approach, this transit can be highly, highly productive, highly fruitful as well. Jupiter in the, your second house could be also connected to foreign income, perhaps working for an international organization, or perhaps uh, working temporarily abroad, or perhaps um, anything to do with international business affairs also emphasized here. Now, Gemini, Gemini, for you, this is a massive one because you're starting a brand new cycle. Your first house is highlighted. And this is a really magical time. You're starting a new 12 years cycle. And this transit will impact various aspects of your life, of your personal life. And generally here with this placement, it's, this is a really highly favorable time for you. And during this time, you might experience a massive boost in your self-confidence uh, and 
there's, there's a lot of positivity and optimism in the air. And this could manifest in, in really many different ways, such as uh, maybe feeling more comfortable in your social um, situations or perhaps feeling more secure and positive about your personal goals and uh, aspirations or objectives, for example. If you have Jupiter in your first house, so this is also when you might become more connected to this spiritual world, spirituality. You might be exploring your own beliefs, your own values. You might feel this renewed sense of purpose and direction in, in life. And um, this could generally help you to achieve your goals. And uh, it might be much easier to reach your goals and objectives, perhaps because of uh, the boost in confidence that comes along with these energies. Here with Jupiter in your first house, it's really important to also pay attention where your ascendant degree is present, because this is essential. If it is at the very end of Gemini, then the effect of this transit will be felt more substantially next year than this year. So that's definitely something to also check. Now, here with Jupiter in your first house, you should also be aware that um, this transit could amplify any negative tendencies or traits that you may have. So it's really important to maintain a healthy balance uh, and a more of a grounded approach to life during this time, because overall, this transit is really highly positive and beneficial um, for, for, for growth, personal development as well. But it's here really important to be grounded, realistic. You can achieve your goals. You can feel like things are suddenly moving in the right direction. But at the same time, something to watch out for during this time is also um, your diet. You might be more attracted to fatty or saucy foods. Generally, Jupiter in the first house can generally... Um, bring instability to your weight. It's very easy to gain weight when Jupiter is in the first house or on your sun or in the sixth or the second house. So something to also keep in mind, those dietary choices uh, during Jupiter's transit in your first house. Now, cancers. Cancers, for you, this is happening in your 12th house. So Jupiter in the 12th house act like a an, um, guardian angel and there is this um, luck and protection that you will receive during uh, the duration of this transit. Here, the 12th house is connected to spirituality and it represents uh, introspection, self-awareness, and uh, also spiritual development. So here with um, Jupiter, um, Jupiter is the planet of expansion. Jupiter is the planet of, of growth and, and wisdom. And, and with Jupiter transiting Gemini in your 12th house, this can generally bring a period of um, increased interest in spirituality, humanitarian cause, causes, for example. And overall, this transit may lead to a heightened sense of intuition, increased empathy, emotional sensitivity. And this can generally encourage you to maybe have a stronger need to withdraw every now and then, or perhaps delve deeper in spiritual practices, energy healing, for example, spiritual retreats. During this time, you might have this need to perhaps so help others, volunteer, or do some charity work. There is this increased compassion, and very often that need to get involved in social causes as well. Now, moreover, the 12th house is also associated with hidden enemies, fears, and anxieties. And here, Jupiter's influence um, in this house may help you to overcome your inner fears, phobias, and this can generally lead to a greater sense of self-awareness and, and emotional stability as well. Here with Jupiter in 12th house, it might be easier also to move away from some negative habits, negative patterns, for example. Overall, this is a period of um, massive, massive personal growth and transformation on a deeper level. So it's really important to, to generally be open to opportunities that this transit may, uh, may bring, say grounded, meditate, uh, law of attraction might also be of your interest during this time. It's a time to concentrate on your well-being, on your inner world, on your inner thoughts as well, on finding that inner peace. Now, Leo, Leo, for you, this is happening in your 11th house. So here, your friendships, groups, and uh, overall, this transit can be very significant and, and transformative as well when it comes to your social life, when it comes to your friendships, when it comes to your aspirations as well. And this transit can generally bring a lot of growth, a lot of expansion. Um, in your social circle, perhaps you will experience um, increased opportunities for networking, for making new friends 
for expanding your social circle, for generally achieving your goals and objectives as well. Here, Jupiter is the planet um, of expansion. Jupiter is the planet of growth. And uh, when Jupiter transits the 11th house in our chart, the house of social, our social circle, of our aspirations, it can bring new opportunities for growth, for expansion in this area of, of life. So here during um, Jupiter's transit in Gemini, you might feel more optimistic, more hopeful about your future. And this can really, really help you to follow your goals, to reach your objectives with more enthusiasm, with more energy, with more motivation, with more courage as well. So here the 11th house is uh, associated with um, friendships, with um, social groups, um, but also collective ideals. And when Jupiter transits through this house, it can generally bring new friendships. It can um, bring new social connections. And generally, these connections can help you to achieve your goals. And uh, you might meet new people during this time who share similar interests, similar um, goals. And generally, they might help you to, to grow and expand um, in some substantial way, maybe professionally, um, maybe in a personal life. Overall, Jupiter and Gemini can uh, bring a lot of intellectual growth, a lot of expansion as well. And you, during this time, you might be interested in learning new things, um, attending workshops. And during this time, you might also feel more curious, more open-minded. And this can really, really help you to come up with um, solutions to problems in your social life. However, you need to be careful not to get too carried away with um, your aspirations or plans and avoid being overconfident because that's one of the negative manifestations of this transit. There is a tendency to want too much or to overcommit oneself and this can generally lead to exhaustion, to a burnout. So it's really, really important to maintain that healthy balance between your personal life and your social life. And Avoid taking too much at once. It's all about moderation, being realistic and grounded. And overall, Jupiter in, in Gemini in your 11th house, um, this can generally be um, a very beneficial uh, period for, for your social life and, and for achieving your goals and hopes. And it can generally bring a lot of proper opportunities for growth, for expansion. So get yourself out there, engage in activities, social activities. And if you've got opportunities for attending social events or business networking events, then go for it. Because these kind of experiences can bring um, new, uh, open up new prospects for you. Now, Virgos. Virgos, for you, this transit is happening in your 10th house, and this can be a highly, highly significant and, and very transformative period for, for your career, for your professional life, professional life growth. And this transit can bring a lot of growth and expansion overall in the area of career. And you might experience during this time um, increased recognition or perhaps success and uh, Generally, is a time to move forward in your career ladder, move up in your career ladder. It's a time of prosperity, expansion, a time overall when um, opportunities for your professional growth uh, may come up as well. Now, the 10th house is associated with career, our profession, public life, our image, and it represents our achievements, our reputation, and uh, also our social status. So when Jupiter transits uh, this area of life, and here Jupiter will be in Gemini, it can bring new opportunities for career advancement, or perhaps uh, you might get a promotion or a new job offer, and you might feel more optimistic overall, more confident about your abilities. And this can generally help you to take bold steps towards uh, achieving your objectives and career-related goals. Now, Jupiter in Gemini can bring uh, a lot of intellectual uh, growth and expansion. And perhaps you might be interested in learning uh, new things and exploring new ideas uh, in your field of work, perhaps professional development courses could be also the case. And you might feel more curious overall, more open-minded. And generally, this can help you to come up with solutions to, to perhaps some issues you may have experienced uh, during um, your career growth uh, or career overall. Now, something to watch out for is not to become overly carried away with your success and uh, avoid being overconfident because this transit can also bring uh, 
a tendency to take on too much work or perhaps to overcommit yourself. And this can lead to um, dissatisfaction, exhaustion, burnout. So it's really important to maintain that healthy balance between your personal life and also your professional life and to uh, avoid taking too much at the same time. It's all about moderation. Now, Jupiter is connected to anything that's foreign. So perhaps this could be also about working abroad or traveling for work. Um, this could be also the case. And Overall, Jupiter in the 10th house, it's a really beneficial time for career, professional growth, new opportunities uh, for success as well, for recognition. And this transit can help, can help you to expand your um, network, business network, your skills. It's a really, really abundant energy as long as you remain um, grounded, realistic about your expectations as well. All right, so now um, Libras. Libras, for you, this transit will be in your ninth house. The ninth house deals with foreign people, foreign travel, and um, this can be a really, really significant uh, and transformative uh, period for your um, spiritual growth, um, higher education, travel, foreign travel is very much highlighted as well. And this transit can bring a lot of growth, expansion um, in your life. And you might experience the, um, increased opportunities uh, for learning, for exploring um, new horizons, uh, for expanding your wisdom horizons and for meeting people from um, different cultures and for perhaps learning new languages. Um, Jupiter is connected to expansive energy, connected to growth. And when it transits a ninth house of spirituality, higher learning, foreign travel, it can really, really bring um, lots of um, different opportunities for growth and expansion in this area of your life. During this time, you might feel very optimistic and, and very hopeful as well about your future, about your purpose. And this can help you to follow or reach your goals with more ease or perhaps more energy, more enthusiasm. Now, the ninth house is associated with higher education, philosophy, religion, our belief system, life principles, our travel. And when Jupiter is here, it can generally bring uh, new opportunities for um, learning, for education. You might feel more drawn towards exploring um, new cultures or perhaps uh, you might be redefining your life principles, your belief system. You might feel um, more inclined to travel to foreign places, foreign countries as well, maybe even spiritual places, places where you can heal. And here Jupiter in Gemini overall can bring a lot of intellectual growth, expansion as well. So there is this hunger for knowledge and uh, for learning new things, for um, expanding your network and for um, learning more about uh, spirituality or philosophy and you might feel more curious overall more open-minded so you want more than just a practical mundane reality and it's a very expansive energy energy that can really help you to move forward uh, with lots of different goals ideas hopes and uh, it's a great uh, time for learning for studying and fruitful time for getting a citizenship or a passport this sort of dynamics as well and it's just important to, to stay grounded, avoid, avoid being overconfident. Don't take more than you uh, possibly can achieve. So don't overcommit because this can lead to um, a dissatisfaction or negative consequences. So it's all about maintaining that he healthy balance between uh, your personal uh, life and your career or outside world. Uh, as well. Right, so Scorpios, this transit will be happening in your eighth house, and it's a very important phase, of course, connected to growth, expansion in various aspects of, of your life. And this transit is primarily related to joint finances, shared resources, intimacy, transformation, or some kind of transformational experiences as per that eighth house um, influence. And during this time, you might feel uh, you might receive unexpected financial gains through partnerships, through investments, through um, inheritance, uh, for example. So here, your investments, if you have any investments uh, or perhaps if you're selling any property or piece of land, you might, you might actually gain financially. So it's a very fruitful time for money that not, is not related to our regular income, but rather to some investments or partnerships or sales uh, of um, property land 
or perhaps uh, from any investment in market to uh, in stock market, for example, or perhaps through your marriage, through partnership. And um, it might be also more inclined uh, towards maybe exploring new investment opportunities during this time. However, it's really important to um, be cautious as well, because um, while making any, especially when making any major financial decisions during this time. Now, this transit can also um, indicate uh, depending of the connections in your intimate relationship. Perhaps you might feel a strong uh, desire to explore new depths of, of your relationship. Perhaps this is about connecting on a deeper level, about the deeper understanding of one another, for example. Now, with this transit, there's also the greater need for understanding oneself on a deeper level perhaps this is when you'll be become more interested in mysteries of life life after death and your interest in spiritual um subjects or matters is likely to increase as well and this can lead to you conducting research studying um or having um some conversations uh, with others about this sort of topics and overall this transit presents an opportunity for transformation for growth and you might uh, find yourself in situations that challenge um, and force you to, to confront your fears and limitations. Now, your ability to handle such situations will be enhanced and, and you might emerge um, from them feeling much stronger and much wiser. So there is a lot of healing opportunities here with this transit opportunities to heal some really deeply seated feelings and emotions however it's really important also to be mindful of any any uh, tendencies towards overindulgence or recklessness behavioral patterns uh, because jupiter's expansive energy can sometimes lead to excess and um, it's really important to maintain a healthy balance and approach and just stay grounded realistic about your expectations during this time and uh, Make the most of the positive effects of this transit. Now, Sagittarius, for you, this is happening in your seven house, and the seven house deals with relationships, partnerships. So during this time, you can expect a significant boost uh, in your in your personal relationships, and this transit has a potential to to improve your relationships, partnerships, and it generally can bring that renewed sense of optimism, enthusiasm, positivity as well. You might have this um, stronger need for socializing, for meeting with new people, for expanding your network. And this, generally, this can lead to new and exciting opportunities as well. Now, at the same time, your communication skills will become uh, sharper and you might find it easier to express your thoughts, your ideas with more clarity, with more confidence as well. Now, generally, this can also help you to build stronger relationships, stronger connections with others. And uh, you might even find yourself um, networking uh, more effectively than you have before. So here with Jupiter in the seventh house, uh, Jupiter may bring um, a couple of people into your life with whom you can form really interesting connections, people with who can help you to get back on track, for example with your life, with your purpose. Now, in terms of any legal matters, so this transit is also fair, fair, favorable, and this means that um, you, may, you may find that uh, negotiations and um, agreements are more favorable during this time. And perhaps this, this is when you are able to solve uh, any disputes or conflicts with more ease. And overall, this is a really great time for entering partnerships, whether they are uh, personal or professional, because you may find that your generally your relationships are more harmonious and more balanced, at least at some point during the duration of this transit, especially when Jupiter crosses your DC. So pay attention when, where your descendant degree is as well. This is significant. So overall, here with Jupiter in Gemini in your seven house, this is all about growth, expansion in your relationships. And this is also about to experience um, more joy and happiness, maybe even more fulfillment in your social interactions and your partnerships. But here, those one-to-one -one connections are especially, especially highlighted. And there could be new people entering your uh, energy field. Not too many, but if those that enter, they, these could be really significant connections, the connections that you... you um, Fated connections, I would say. Connections that can really help you to, to grow and, and to flourish some way. Now, um, Capricorns. Capricorns, this is your sixth house transit. And this is generally um, the area of your work, health-related matters, work environment, daily routine. 
Now, during this time, we are likely to go through a significant uh, growth um, in, in your productivity. This is when you can become more efficient as well. And here, Jupiter gives um, lack enthusiasm, optimism when it comes to your work. So you're here, your work environment might become more harmonious, more supportive. Uh, you might receive um, recognition for your hard work during this time. And uh, overall here, there is a dedication as well that is uh, enhanced. And Jupiter in your sixth house, this is also connected to working abroad or working uh, with foreign people. Uh, or generally this, this transit can also inspire you to take on new challenges and maybe even new responsibilities. Now, additionally, this transit can also bring uh, financial stability or perhaps an increase in your income. This could be very much the case as well. Now, in terms of your health and uh, transit uh, Jupiter in Gemini can uh, really encourage you to take better care of yourself, um, to establish um, healthy habits. Perhaps you may find um, that you are more motivated to, to exercise regularly, to eat a healthier diet, for example, to take uh, the necessary steps to reduce stress, to improve your overall well-being. And uh, this, this can also lead to a really, really significant improvement in your physical health, but also mental, mental well-being as well. During this, the duration of this transit, you might be also attracted to different kinds of foods and diets. Now, Jupiter in the sixth house can also um, promote the growth of this physical body because of the perhaps different dietary choices or different kind of cravings. Jupiter is connected to fatty foods, saucy foods. So here it's something to also um, pay attention to during this transit. So overall here with Jupiter in the sixth house, you can experience financial stability, improved health and well-being. So overall, there is a lot of positive transformation here. Um, opportunity for personal growth as well. Opportunities for... Mm, for improving your work prospects in some positive sense as well. Now, Aquarius, Aquarius, for you, this transit will be in your fifth house. And here, Jupiter in Gemini transit can bring about a period of heightened uh, creativity, inspiration, self-expression, joy even. And this can manifest in your life as uh, opportunities for new romantic relationships, um, indulgence in hobbies and leisure activities, and generally um, an increased desire uh, to, to explore your creative potential skills. And you might find yourself feeling more confident, um, especially when it comes to expressing yourself authentically, especially when it comes to ex expressing your creative urges. The fifth house is also associated with taking risks and having fun. And Jupiter's influence here can bring uh, an element of lack and positivity, enthusiasm to your uh, projects, to your ventures, for example. However, it's really important to be mindful of the potential of overindulgence during this time or excess uh, in this area of life. So it's all about maintaining a healthy balance between your enthusiasm and des desire for pleasure with um, practicality, with responsibility, because this can really help you to make the most of the opportunities that arise around this time. So here with Jupiter in the fifth house, this is a chance to embrace your inner child and to fully enjoy your life, to generally allow yourself to explore your passions, your creative potentials, to take a few risks and perhaps have some fun. And by doing so, you may find that you discover new aspects of your personality. Now here with that fifth house energy and the fifth house is also connected to fertility and conception. So with Jupiter transiting your fifth house, this is also when you might give birth or perhaps you might conceive or perhaps you will could work, might be working with children, teaching, coaching, mentoring. You might become very inspiring to others. Perhaps this is also when you'll be establishing a new business or perhaps this is about becoming a freelancer and receiving opportunities in this regard as well. Now, Pisces, Pisces, this is happening in your fourth house. Uh, Gemini, uh, Jupiter will enter Gemini here on the 25th for about a year. And this transit can bring about a period of a really, really significant growth and expansion in your personal life, in your 
home life overall, in your family life. And there is this potential, a great potential to create a sense of abundance and, and positivity in your home life, in your family life, in your emotional life as well. During this transit, you might feel a deep um, desire to create a more nurturing, more supportive home environment. You might find yourself investing um, in home improvements, perhaps redecorating, or perhaps you could be moving to a new home, more spacious home. Now, the influence of Jupiter can also bring a sense of optimism, abundance, uh, and here into the area of home and family dynamics. And this can also, um, it will make it easier to manifest a vision for your living space, for your perfect home. Jupiter is connected to growth and expansion. With Jupiter in the fourth house, we crave more space or spacious, more spacious surroundings. So there's this great focus on the home and the family dynamics. And here with Jupiter, you might be also drawn to practices like uh, meditation and um, journaling or maybe even therapy. This is also an amazing time for healing, for healing your emotions. For... It's a time of um, significant personal growth, self-discovery as well. But uh, with Jupiter in the fourth house, this could be also about even living temporarily abroad, having visitors from abroad, for example. There is some kind of uh, element of something foreign. Perhaps someone will be moving in to your home, so there will be more people. You know, that expansive energy will manifest in, in a way that someone will come and live with you for a period of time. Overall, this transit offers a chance to create a more nurturing and, and comfortable home environment, a place where you can generally deepen your relationships with your loved ones, with your family members, a place where you can connect with your inner self on a deeper level. You might find yourself meditating a lot at home and um, maybe uh, doing yoga or energy, energy healing. And overall, Jupiter um, has a lot of positive influence, abundant influence here on the area of home. And here with Jupiter's guidance, you can create a foundation of stability, of support uh, that will serve you well for, for years to, um, to come. All right, so here we go. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. And until the next time, bye for now.